Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Life Week 8 uh, and for this week's spread I am diving back into my scrap bin again. Uh, I'm using a little bit something different in here because some of these scraps I tend to cut down to 4x6 or 3x4 sort of usable sizes so I don't actually need to do kind of any trimming or cutting down. I've got these piles of ready cut cards uh, waiting to go in the bin. So it does make this process a little bit easier. Obviously it's less easy when you have such a huge handful <laughs> like these ones of the three by four cards. I've only got two spots. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of journaling this week. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough week. Um, I've got one spot that uh, we ended up at a funeral this week. So I don't have any photos from that. Uh, I'm just going to note that down by stamping on my card. So I've left that blank. And the only other spot is for a little uh, little, um, I think it's about a two and a half inch photo of Lil there. So I'm just picking out some kind of colors that match the rest of my layout. But I'm also trying to keep things a little bit sort of lighter rather than adding a whole bunch of darker patterns. Because the other thing that I want to do this week is just a bunch of stamping. So Really, I think when you're talking about Project Life, it's really easy to get caught up in all the embellishments and uh, all the kind of fun, pretty things that you can add to a spread. And you know I love to do that too. Uh, but the reality is, is you actually need very, very basic supplies to put together a Project Life spread. That's what I'm using today. Uh, cards, papers, I'm just using scrap paper. Uh, and I've got a bunch of stamps and that really is all I'm going to use for this week's spread. So I have gone through my stash of Kelly stamp stamps um, and I pulled out a few that I thought worked with kind of the photos that I've got this week. Uh, some of these obviously are a lot older because they're from my stash so they are sold out. Uh, if anything is still available in the shop that I'm using this week I will leave the links down in the description box for you. Otherwise I know that a lot of these stamps are available in digital form as well so do check out the shop for those. Now my first 3x4 photo just got a really simple stamp from the coffee loading stamp set. Um, I'm stamping straight onto the photos there using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Um, I can do that super easily because I print at home on Canon Photo Glossy 2 paper. It absorbs ink like a dream, uh, including from stamp. Now this largest square photo on my 4x6 down the bottom here, I'm going to stack up a whole bunch of stamps. Uh, I am using both the routine and the crap day stamp. Uh, this was a photo I took not even that early in the morning. Um, it's so dark here at the moment. Uh, it really is just, oh, we're heading into winter and you know the feeling when the mornings get darker and it would normally be full daylight by now um, and I just happened to be this day that I noticed it. Like the bathroom light was on, the hallway was completely pitch black and I tried my best to take a photo of it. It wasn't a super great photo. Um, I just converted it to black and white which made it look obviously a little bit more dramatic uh, but also just helped with some of those kind of exposure issues. Now the first thing I did was use that routine stamp to stamp the time um, on my 4x6 card. Um, I'm going to call it a card, it's just scrap paper. Uh, and I'm using a range of kind of blue and teal inks here to then stack some of these sentiments from the crap day stamp set uh, just on and around. I'm not lining anything up, it's just kind of scattering down that card. It's kind of acting as my, um, as my journaling for this page. I think it quite accurately portrays everything I'm feeling. I was going to add just a few and what I decided to do was to kind of add uh, well really as many as I could in here and uh, this one here is a little bit long so I'm just going to partially stamp it uh, and I'm pulling out. I don't want to repeat any of those stamps so I'm kind of pulling out the ones that I've used to make sure I don't accidentally reuse them. I did stamp in two different colors of blue ink. It's very hard to tell even in real life so I don't think I would bother doing that next time. Now my uh, Mega Heart Eyes stamp set is still one of my absolute faves so I'm going to use that for this little photo of Lil. Um, I came in one day and she had made herself a little pillow nest in the unmade bed. Um, it was so cute so I took a photo of that and again it wasn't a great quality of photo and so I've just converted it to black and white and it covers a whole range of sins. 
Now this photo here was our wedding anniversary and so I'm just going to really simply stamp seven years. Uh, this is a fun stamp set, it's no longer available sadly. Um, I started stamping here, you can see I stamped the seven in black and I realized that it's not really going to show over the dark of Shane's shirt and so I went and swapped out some ink so I stamped the seven in black and I'm gonna stamp years using this uh, Brilliance Moonlight White ink. Uh, you can see here it stands out off a dark background on a photo very well indeed um, and I don't I don't mind the two different colors like I would prefer it to be one colored but you can see if I stamped the seven in the white you wouldn't see it and then if I stamped the years in the black I wouldn't see it and so at the end of the day it works nicely just having the two different colors there. Uh, I'm going to use the Mega Heart Eyes stamp again so I'm just going to stamp a really simple love on my uh, sunrise photo here and it's kind of it kind of goes along with the other four by six card that's with it like this is the sunrise and I definitely do not have to get up early to capture that on uh, camera anymore. <laughs> I used to, used to have to get up very early to catch the sunrise and now not so much. Now like I said we attended a funeral this week and so I'm just going to, I didn't really feel like I wanted to journal about that in here and so instead I'm just using this very tall narrow alpha um, again I'm sorry this is unavailable anymore um, the reason I love it is because I can stamp a relatively long word like goodbye uh, and it fits on a three by four card nicely so it is a great one for um, for project life and those sort of smaller projects I'm just going to stamp goodbye Agnes uh, and call that card done Finally, I am going to work on my title cards and I quite purposefully chose this kind of grid looking paper. Having those straight lines on there makes it a lot easier for me to stamp out my title. Uh, and I'm going to use a couple of my favorite kind of alphas. Again, they're unavailable. Uh, the Bishop Street alpha and the Bolton Street numbers. I'm going to stamp the word week and I'm stamping that in black. And then I'm going to use a blue ink to stamp my week number. Uh, and I'm going to do, <laughs> you can see here, those of you who are eagle-eyed will know that uh, I said at the start of this video that it is week number eight. And you can see that is not an eight that I'm stamping here. I'm a little bit confused because there are so many sevens on this page. You can see my 7 a.m. and my seven year anniversary. Uh, and I just went ahead and stamped the week seven. Didn't even think about it, to be honest. Um, but I am going to show you at the end when I did realize, I'll show you how I fixed that. Now my date stamping, I'm just going to stamp it straight onto the card. I um, need to give my date stamp a little bit of a clean, especially when I go to use a different colored ink like that. It's just a bit kind of messy. Uh, one thing I didn't love was how plain the card was looking, so I decided just to trim off the top right above where I've done the stamping and adhere another pattern underneath it just to give it a little bit of color, a little bit of pattern, a little bit of contrast. And in the end I used a pink one because there are a few sort of little soft pinks on this spread. So I literally finished filming. Uh, I took all my photographs, I sat down to edit the photos and thought, oh, that's not right. Uh, so I had to pull my title card out of the pocket and I decided I'm not going to try and like redo the card. I'm just going to cover up the seven, but not completely cover it up. I think part of this process is for me is that I've made a mistake. I don't necessarily want to hide the fact that I've made a mistake. I just want to get the right week number on there. So I stamped it out a couple of times on vellum, the correct number that is, uh, and then I just trimmed those down and I've stapled both of them. One wasn't quite enough. I stamped, both, I stamped two and I ended up using two, just layered them on top of each other and adhered it with a tiny attacher on top of my seven and called that fixed. So that's it. That's my spread all done this week. I love how simple it is just using a few scrap papers and a whole bunch of stamps. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there are a couple more videos on screen otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys!